Hello everyone, and welcome back to a new episode of Small Saga. Last time we left off, we were hanging out here at the Gray Squirrel HQ, and uh, someone actually mentioned something interesting in my Discord uh, about this in particular. My mouse is on the screen. <laughs> um, so apparently gray squirrels are not native uh, to the UK. Apparently they were introduced in the 19th century, which is interesting and makes sense with uh, what we read about them being brought over on ships. So, uh, yeah, that's interesting that they specifically lean super hard into that in this. Super, super cool. All clear. No sign of the escapees, Blademaster. Maybe they're still in the dungeon. Maybe they've already fled. Excuse me, sweeping one. Did anyone pass through here? Hmm. Ain't seen nobody but Maya. Maya? Yep. Maya Bruma. <laughs> You're probably gonna die, but it's, it's, yeah. Cool, thank you. <laughs> you shouldn't lie, rat. Insincerity taints the flesh, it ruins the flavor. See, I have a hunger, a deep hunger. Howling void in the pits of my stomach. Okay, let's cool it with the edge. It's not a hunger that can be satiated by a foul and petty liar. But then again, food is food. Uh... Blademaster? Blademaster, the, the... the... the prisoners? Lower the portcullis. Double the watch on the battlements. Sky Garden is on full lockdown. Code Rose. Nobody leaves or enters the tree until this mess is resolved. W what if the prisoners have already escaped? Captain Aiden will be tried for his failure. As will you, Larry. Uh, uh, oh no. <laughs> wow. Okay, dumbasses. We're already out. Later. Okay, yeah, you got very, very edgy there. Okay. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and, uh, hit the road. Doesn't look like we're being followed. Should be safe out here. All the sun and warmth. Forgot how bright it is outside. Bruce, are you alright? No. So it's supposed to be a great day, but everything's gone to shit. And Anton's going to die. Sorry. Fine, Gwen, it's not your fault. Maybe if I were a little braver, if I were a real fighter. Bruce. Hey, Verum Shoban, what are you doing here anyway? We're on our way to the Ashen Tower. It's home to the Kallik who can help serve Verum on his quest. Quest? Alright, I better fill you in. Mad lad wants to kill a god. It's pretty gutsy. Pretty stupid, more like. Whatever. It's on moot right now because I'm following a bad lead. Said you're going to the Ashen Tower, right? Do you know it? Not personally, but... From my cell, I often overheard the Cockwin gossiping. There was some whisper of the Duke once making a pilgrimage there. That's all I know. So the Duke himself visited the Calic. Maybe the lead is legit after all. wonder why the Duke went. What did he want to know? Probably wanted to ask the secret to being the worst bastard in the world. It's likely. Dupe's an absolute pussball of a rodent. My headset keeps crackling, and I'm like, why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? I bet he smokes to cover the smell of his own farts. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure that's it, Chauvin. I'm sure that's it. Chauvin, where did you learn to speak like that? <laughs> Is everyone looking at me? She came up with that filth by herself. Thanks all, needed some levity. I already cut this short, but I need to reach the Ashen Tower before dusk. So, Chauvin and I are gonna get going. Or I'm wait. No, it's a long shot, but the Calic might be able to help me. Like she might know some way to rescue Anton or something. But can I join you for your trip? Yeah. Sure thing. Thanks. I would like to come too, if it's okay with the rest of you. Curious about what lies at the heart of the Ashen Tower. Besides, I want to learn more about this... Dwit's <laughs> God-killing business. Doot? Oh, is that how you're supposed to pronounce it? Doot? Oh, whatever. The more the merrier. To the gloaming woods! Yeah, there's so- there's so many, like, things that I just don't understand. Like, even Cockwin and stuff. 
Oh, hi. Come on, Maisie, keep up. We're so far from Marita. You sure we're going the right way, Rosie? Remember the intel we gathered from those cheese breath rats? And the Paul Ball lads, remember what they said? Get lost, Tin Heads. After that. Yeah, yeah, I know. The Vagabond and Noble Mole went to the Gloaming Woods. Right. Losing the evening night. Let's go. Hey, wait up. Oh, they're gonna catch up to us pretty quickly. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, we'll be doing that. Whoops. Uh, there's a statue covered in lichen of an outlaw, I think is what that said. Plaque reads, For Gilded Roy, so feared were he that Kristoff sought his head, but Sly Roy took his chance to flee, afore the charge was read. Gilded Roy flees. Save your game? Yeah. Alrighty. Game has been saved. Where are we going? It's like the Lost Woods. Yep. Mm -hmm. It said, said follow where the wind blows, so currently it's blowing to the right. Then it's blowing down. I do wonder if there's some secret passages that go a different way, though. Like, if I go a different way, we'll stumble upon something. W wait. Where did Sir Vermin Lady Gwyn just go? I heard a song about the Gloaming Woods once. Said to be cursed, spin you round and round. Just wait a moment, maybe they'll backtrack. Makes sense. Hey, Bruce, I'm worried about Sir Verm. Worried? Lad looks healthy to me. He is, but there's something wrong. It's like he throws himself into things. Too much of himself. He wants to find and slay the Yellow God, but I think he'd be fine dying in the process. Ah, I get what you mean. Lad does have a bit of raw recklessness about him. People get hurt, they lash out. Sometimes at others, sometimes at themselves. Not an easy wound to treat. Ah, damn it. Where did Rosie go? Uh-oh. I hate this stupid, confusing forest. Damn it. How did I get lost? I'm so stupid. You all right, Les? Ah, didn't see you there. Looking for my sister. There's a hair taller than me, got a scissor blade like mine. You seen her? Nope. Um, I can't say that we have, no. Alright, no worries. Oh, wait, you're a mole, and you're nobility. Hmm, this one isn't a mouse. You two wouldn't know anything about a vagabond mouse, would you? Oh, no, nope. Oh, that doesn't ring any bells, sorry. Ah, uh, no worries then. Huh, pretty smooth talking, Chauvin. I wonder what a thimble guard was doing all the way out here. He and Verm be building quite the reputation as wanted outlaws. Uh, oh, oh no, should I be worried? Wait, we lost someone. Or two. Bruce and Chauvin. Didn't even see them wander off. How's that possible? They were right on my tail. Speaking of tails, I don't want to pry, but I notice yours is missing and all. So what? Not judging. I'm missing parts too. Must be tough to walk without a tail, let alone swing a sword. I cope just fine. So I see. Where did Maisie go? Vagabond mouse, but no mole. I wonder. You too. Limbo guard, you're far from home. Looking for two rodents, if you can answer some questions. You don't have to answer the lives of the likes of... <laughs> we don't have to answer to the likes of a crown worshipping tin head. Listen, I've had a long day. I'm not in the mood to field more petty insults. So if you don't wish to talk civilly, I'll have no choice but to draw my sword. Bring it on. What do you say, Verm? Say she looks familiar. Haven't we met before? Uh. So we have. You're the mouse who helped Maisie earlier today back in the palace. Way to go and put me between a pebble and a hard place. Go. Leave my sight. Tell the crown that the rogue vagabond is nowhere to be found. Yay, my good deed. Paid off. Oh, hey. There you are. Where did you go? Woods are cursed. Aye, that's what I said. Woods are cursed. Hey, listen. These woods are crawling with knights, crawlies, and who knows what else. Let's follow Verm closely. Gwyn learned to rally. Right you are, Gwyn. We're following. Rally, huh? That was listed in your skill tree as, like, something that you had, but, uh, I don't know what it does yet. And I can't see from this menu. 
Ah, hiccup. So, alrighty. Looks like things are blowing to the north now. Also sounds like they're blowing leaves outside, so... Hopefully they don't get too close to here. Which rodent stole the precious thing? Jabari, Jabari, and who shall be the trickster king? Jabari, Jabari. Wait, I took a left, then a right. Dang, am I lost? Hey. You. Oh. Uh, hey. Sup? Not to bury you where you stand, you two-faced rock swiping Egypt. And yours? Hardly, this backstabber is the one that got me and my boyfriend locked up. <laughs> well, if you don't want to do the time, it's nay a joke. You kidding? Everything's a joke. You need to learn to lighten up and laugh at life. Ah, oh, you're really ticking me off, you smug runt. So what now? You gonna serenade him into an apology? No, I think I, you made a point earlier. A good point earlier, Gwen. There's a time for tootin' and a time for bootin'. I'm gonna kick his arse all by myself. Bruce learned whack. Bring it on, you spoony bard. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> so you're who Bruce is gonna beat up. I knew there was a reason he had an attack stat. Look at you, though. Sweet tune, whack. Bonk. What's this? A second knife! Ow. Oh yeah, well you can't beat me while I got warring bagpipes going here. What's this? A toxic bomb! Ow. Oh, you stunned me. It's rude. What's this? A second knife! Ow. Bruce. Whack. Bonk. Uh-oh. I might die here if you stun me again. A smoke bomb? Oh. Well, I'm just gonna go ahead and take the opportunity to heal me. There we go. That's fine. I didn't want to attack either of them. Uh, whack. Bonk. What's this? A second knife! <clears throat> Alright, and another whack. God, you have more HP than I would have thought. Toxic bomb? Uh-oh, that's dangerous. Because now you get to attack me again. Luckily, I'll have enough time to heal. Ow. Yeah, you're actually kind of scary. <laughs> A little bit at times. <clears throat> there you go, Bruce. What's this? A smoke bomb. Well, that's annoying. Um, I'll just heal up again. Because <laughs> there's no point. I'm not. I'm not going to bother trying to attack you when when that's happening. I'll just heal instead. Then I don't have to deal with the 50/50 chance to hit. Bonk. You are, like, kind of adorable, I will say. Look at you. Bonk! There you go. Get bonked. Okay, okay, I yield. Damn, who taught Bruce to fight like that? Only the best. Here, take the rock. It isn't shiny, so it's worth nothing to me anyway. Pablo Skewn. You received the Pablo Skewn. You added it to your trinkets. Squeen, 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 squeen. I, mm, there's a lot of ways you could pronounce it. Hey, Bruce. Sorry, I never intended for you and Anton to get locked up. I'll make this right. How are you going to do that? Skyguard's on full alert and Anton's execution is in the morn. I'll think of something. Let's carry on. I think we're getting close. All right, we'll do. Um, so, yeah, everything's good there. I did have the items I could have healed with if I needed to, but... Oh, okay, how are we gonna move the big rock? Hi. This must be the Ashen Tower. We're not going any further with this boulder in the way. Nay bother, we can shift it. They really put our backs into it. Teamwork, right? Okay, on my mark. Left! Great, let's head in. Let's do just that. Nothing beside remains. This is just a burned tree, right? 
This is now just a tree. I think it's a city, or at least it once was. Ah, uh, but there's something familiar about it, right? Like I've been here before. Oh, well, it's nothing but ash now. Let's move, the calic is waiting. <clears throat> I feel like I've been here before. I mean, is it just the other version of the 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 other tree? <laughs> Two vast and trunkless paws of stone stand before you. There's no plaque. The broken colossus bears no name. Yeah. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba. No, I'm good. All right. Up we go. I love our fast taps as we go up the stairs here. Tap 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 tap. Look at my squad. I love them. I love them so much. Oh hi. Yup. <clears throat> yep, so this is, uh... Huh. I'm wondering... Was this actually your home? Was this actually your home and they burned it? <laughs> was this actually the home of, uh, the Reds? Because, uh, yeah, I'm seeing some kilts. Yeah. I'm seeing- I'm seeing some kilts here. And stuff. So, I'm thinking this was actually the home of Clan Red, and, uh, yeah, the other place is just something else. Because, yeah, it looks like the other place, and we're seeing <laughs> ghosts here. I think we're at the top, but I can't see a thing. Ah, hold on. There you go. Shoban learn spread fire. That seems cool. Dumb Spiro Sparrow. Or Doom Spiro Sparrow. What's that? It's Sora's Sidon, the language of the Shrew Empire. I'm a little rusty, but I think it translates as... While I breathe, I hope. Mada taught it to me. It's the motto of Clan Red. Had my suspicions before, but now I have no doubt. The burnt husk around us is all that remains of Sky Garden. What do you mean? We just came from Sky Garden. Nay, we were standing in this we're standing on the Sky Garden of old. That's what I thought, yeah. The original city, the real city. Home of Clan Red. When Clan Grey landed in Rodentia some four hundred seasons ago, it was nay enough for them to kill me, ancestors. They had to burn our city, salt the earth. Destroy all evidence that us Reds even existed. Bruce, I'm so sorry. So Duke Josh isn't just a lone tyrant, he's part of something bigger. Something foul that's gone on for generations. Is there a Calic here? If there's a Calic here, she's on the other side of this doorway. You okay to carry on, Bruce? I want to see what's on the other side as much as you do. Let's prepare ourselves. Okay, and Chauvin learns spread fire. See the severed and cracked head of a noble squirrel. Who were they? The proud face betrays no secrets. All right, update my my save there. So on you, yeah, we have the berserker mushroom. You have that stuff. You have the grog, and yeah, that's that. You have the gariba. You have the bouncy and the bandage, and you have the coffee. Okay, mm sounds good. Yep, and here's more of the fireworks. Oh, but yeah, we're back over here. That makes sense. I was about to say, wait, <laughs> that was a, that was a, that, that transition confused me because I thought we, I, for some reason I was like, oh yeah, we went to the top and there's fireworks up here too, but no, we just went back over here. Duke. It's late and the tree is on lockdown. What are you doing up here? Looking for the wayward star. But I can't see it. There are no stars above Rodentia, not anymore. The gods plucked the starlight from the sky to power their own technology. I think that the gods dominate even the distant stars. Powers beyond imagining. Hey, you remember when you, me, and Evan visited the Ashen Tower a couple years back? To meet the Kallik? Yeah, the old hag. Thought she'd tell me about how to make Sky Garden great again. Instead, she only told me that stupid prophecy. 
Four riders armed with blades divine. Rybert red upon his throne, yada yada. Toothless horoscope. Yeah, yeah, it's all ghosts and must -wolves. I didn't want to take any chances. So you had me slay the Calic. And slay her I did. I brought you your head on a plate. Alright, I figured if the prophecy was real, that would put a stop to it. Now with that red squirrel returning, and those other weirdos. I refuse. I refuse to give up what is mine. Sky Garden is the greatest city in Rodentia. No, it's the greatest city in the whole world. It cannot be overrun by freaks and degenerates. You know the deal, Duke. Keep me fed and Sky Garden is secure against any threat, be it Squirrel, Titan, or God. Glad to hear it. I'm off to bed. Help yourself to that chubby hamster in the dungeons if you get a hankering. Yeah, I mean, ugh. <laughs> so that's that's the agreement. I mean, I, I've kind of assumed that's the case, because why would you be working with him? So... Don't underestimate my appetite, Duke. This room's the darkest yet. What's that smell? It's death. And not just red squirrels. Shrews, mice, moles. Old deaths, new deaths, many freshly slain. This is the den of a titan, and a particularly vicious one at that. Step forward? I should say something. Hello? Oi? Oi! Oi, Calic! Get out of here, I've got a question for you. Is Verm always this foolhardy? Very much so. I see. The Calic was here. Bangal? But no longer. Only ashes remain. Oh. Can you help? Perhaps. Although my mother is gone, I retain shadows of her wisdom. <laughs> hey, Sir Verm. Not to alarm you, but I'm pretty sure that's a Nightwing, that is. Shall we leg it? Stay calm. Nightwings are fierce, but if things go south, the numbers are on our side. You may ask but one question. Just one. I need to know... The Yellow God, Lance. The Yellow God or Lance? Only one, huh? I mean, the Yellow God's kind of our thing. But, I kind of want to go with Lance. Lance. My brother, Lance. I abandoned him when he needed me. Does he forgive me? I mean, I, I kind of chose that one because I was like, this will give Verm some closure, possibly, right? I mean, I know it's not exactly what we're here for, but... Forgiveness is a concept for the living. Those who have passed can neither resent nor forgive. We who still breathe must bear the weight of our failures. It hurts. I know. I have answered your question, Mouse. Now you must answer mine. Will you pay tribute? Ooh, who? Tribute? There's two of them. Trib tribute, tribute! Oh no. Tribute. Shit. Yep, I don't want to have to beat up owls though, I love owls. It's super cool that they're called Nightwings. Hmm. Okay, initially looking at this, I'm going to imagine each of them do different things. And I'm imagining the one with the heart is probably the healer, so I think that's who I want to go for first. For Titans. Huh. <laughs> Means it's a fair fight. God. Okay, spread fire, deal heavy special damage to all enemies. I think I want to overclock before doing that, though. But I probably, once again, don't want to attack them all. I probably want to focus on the one over there. So, I'm gonna go for that one. Recover one energy for each ally. That's pretty good. Um, lower defense. Yeah, I want to attack this one, because the one with the heart makes me think it's gonna heal. Okay. Uh... I could encore... Probably Verm. Verm will be able to absolutely destroy. Yeah. Bang, 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 bang. Oh my god! <laughs> Burn! Oh god, though. 
Oh no, nerve toxin? Because uh, Verm has so... Yeah, Verm can one hit something, but if he gets hit, he's dead. <laughs> oh no! Oh, that's crazy. Alright, well, let's go ahead and hit this one. Kablamzo, 34. Alright, cool. <laughs> Verm got bopped. Oh my god. Oh, whack. Oh, you resist it? Okay. <laughs> Ow. God, that lower defense really screwed you over, huh, Verb? Alright, um... Hmm. I think I'm going to worm fire... Let's, let's overclock and then worm fire. Gwen's no longer stunned. Thank you. Now stab this thing, please. Oh, only three? I'm gonna have to whack again just to finish it. There we go. <laughs> yeah, Verm took eight damage from each of those because of his lower defense. I mean, yeah, he one hit one of them. Like, effectively. But, my god, if that's not a Berserker, I don't know what- I mean, well, that's not really a Berserker. Berserkers usually stay around for a little while. That- that's- Verm's just a glass cannon. Like... <laughs> You're gonna get one hit off, and that's it. God, that's amazing. Um... Let's, um... Sword break you, because you're kind of annoying with your attacks. And then, uh, I just want to go ahead and heal up, Chauvin. <laughs> that's hilarious. And I don't know if I can revive people, really. I mean, at least it's not one of those situations where if the main character dies, it's game over. Uh, let's see. I know I don't have enough energy for that. Uh, an overclock. We can overclock, but Gwen's bleeding. Um, let's go ahead and lower your stats. And let's see. Nobody. I guess I'll sweet tune you. Oh God! It sounds like the. The leaf blowers are, like, right there. Hopefully that's not picking up in recording. Oh, it's gotta be. Okay, I think they may have stopped for a second. Let's see if we can just finish the fight, at least. Um, oh yeah, I don't have enough energy for that. Let's defend. Definitely, definitely defend. Stab with you. Which will do six. And then I can whack with Bruce. There we go. Yeah, you broke my defenses, that's fine. Uh, alright, worm fire. Kablamza. 34. Big fire. Uh, and let's... Not enough energy for that. We'll just do a stabby. And then, uh, one whack. We'll finish it. There we go. Whew. Sorry, Verm. <laughs> Sorry, owls as well. I love owls, they're my favorite. They flew away. Think they'll come back? Most likely. Nightwings always return to their roost. We should clear out before dawn. Bruce? Are you okay? Fine, it's just... This room. This spot. Oh! This is where the Pebble of Squeen belongs. I'm totally mispronouncing that, but... Oh, that's cool! Stained glass. Going back to the Duke's fortress. I'm gonna rescue Anton. Aye, but not just Anton. Want to reclaim the Oaken, tr Oaken throne. Nay, I need to. Every minute that smarmy Duke sits in his high chair is an insult to my clan and my heritage. Bruce. Gonna break in the Sky Garden, gonna rescue Anton, and I'm gonna punch the Duke in his smug face. You three stand with me? Will you help me reclaim the Sky Garden for Clan Red? What you're proposing is a military coup. A violent bloody revolt. Aye. Fab, I'm in. <laughs> Maybe I can settle my score with that sturdy Blade Master. Waging war on Sky Garden sounds terrifying. 
But you're right, Bruce. We can't just stand by. Done letting our lives be ruled by bullies and throne sitters. So count me in. I want to help however I can. And I thank you both enough, truly. What about you, Verm? You know, we're not, I know we're not the best as pals, and you didn't owe me any favors. But if you lend your sword, I'll dedicate every resource of this city to helping you find and slay the Yellow God. Will you help me take Sky Garden? I will. I kind of want to see what happens if you say nah, but I'm also scared about what happens if I say nah. I will. But you need to think things through first. Sky Garden soldiers are on high alert thanks to your antics. Portcullis is down, the windows are definitely being watched night and day. Pigeons won't fly cl uh, close out of fear of being shot down. So what's your battle strategy? How do we get in? Uh, I haven't thought that far ahead. That's alright. We can make a plan. A successful siege, we'll need a hundred soldiers of our own. Forty days of rations, weapons, armor. Oh, I could build a siege weapon, if you give me a week. Ah, there's no time for any of this. And time to get executed at dawn. That... That only gives us a few hours. We don't have much to work with. This is pointless. I'm out. Ugh. Not running away. Sir Verm, are you okay? I'm... I'm fine. You sure? You're looking more a bit peely wee peely wally. That remind me. Listen, there might be a way to attack Sky Garden. It's a little crazy though. It's the kind of plan that can go south in ten thousand different ways. Not exactly selling us on it. I think we should go with Serverm's plan. I haven't even heard what it is yet. I know, but it's this idea where I'm from, Mathial, it's like when I couldn't face the Felidae threatening my village, Serverm drew his blade in support. When we entered the labyrinth outside Merida, Bruce guided the way. And when Bruce was thrown in prison, Gwyn selflessly jumped in to break him out. A really positive spin on those events. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, we should let her finish, you daft mouse. <laughs> oh, ah, uh, I lost where I was. I get it, Shoban. You're saying if we work together, we can do things that would be impossible for us as individuals. Now they're leveled, foolish plan becomes a rock-solid strategy. Yeah, that's it exactly. Got some teamwork. That really all it takes to bring someone down someone as terrible as the Duke. Guts and teamwork kill a god. Well, one problem at a time. Dawn's about to break. The Nightwings will return soon. Worm, tell us the details. I will. Let me just pay my respects to a statue first. Alright, come speak to me here when you're ready. Alright. Yeah, no, we got, uh... We got, we got things to do, yeah. You're ready. That sounds cool, I'm ready to attack and take down the, the stupid assholes of, of Clan Grey. Alright. Cool, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more.